In this video, I'll show you how to uh, look up and return multiple records like this. And this picture here shows you what I mean. And simply copy the formula from my website. And here on this worksheet, double click on C11 and paste the formula and the first argument the cell reference here you need to change that to your data set and B9 is the lookup value and I made something wrong here I need to click on B 15 and paste the formula and first argument change that to the data set and b9 is the lookup value and this cell reference here is the column column that you want to look for the lookup value and also change these to and that's it. Now press Control and Shift and hold and then press enter to create an array formula and it returns an error here because I don't have a lookup value yet so I'm going to type one two three and then I need to copy this formula and you can do that by click and hold on the black dot and then drag like this and release and then do the same thing click and hold on the black dot and copy the formula to cells below and you can now see that there are two two matches there are two records here with the ID one two three up here and down here. So how does this array formula work? First thing is to build a logical expression and to do that type equal sign and then the lookup value and then an equal sign again and then the lookup column and make these cell references absolute and you do that by click on a cell reference and then press function key F4 and these dollar signs shows up to indicate that this is an absolute cell reference then press and hold control shift uh, and then press enter once and expand that to the cells below and repeat and this logical expression returns either true or false and the lookup value is 1 2 3 and the first value in the array is 1 2 3 and they are equal so the logical expression returns true and the next one they are not equal so it returns false and the next is false and 129 is not equal to 123 but the last value is equal to 123 so the array returns true down here now I want to build a formula that returns the relative uh, 
position in the array. So if it is true, it returns the position. And this is the first value in the array, so it returns 1. And if it is false, it will return nothing. And down here, it returns true, so this will return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And to do that, I'm going to use the if function. And then the logical expression. Oops. And the logical expression is C11 equal B3 to B8. And then I need to build an array that returns the relative position of each value in the array. And to do that, I'm going to use the match function and then the row function. And then a cell reference to this cell range. And in parentheses, comma, and row again, and the same cell reference. And in parentheses, and again. So this is what the if function will return if it if the logical expression is true. And if it is false, it will return nothing. And now enter this as an array formula. And now you can see that it returns one for this value and 6 for the last value in the array. The next thing, the next thing to do is to use this small function to filter the values from this array here. And I only want the numbers, not the blanks. And the small function ignores text values or blanks. and copy this and then type equal sign small beginning parenthesis and the formula and then I want to use rows and cell reference and I want the first part to be an absolute cell reference and the ending parenthesis and once again and now make it an array formula and this array formula returns only a single value so I, I can't expand the cell range I need to copy the formula and to do that you can click and hold on the black dot and drag or you can select the cell and then click copy and then select the cells below and then click paste and the formula returns one in the first cell and six in the second and in the third cell it returns an error because there are only two values in this array and then I'm going to return the value in this position six and one and six and to do that I'm going to use the index function And then the formula. No. And then the data set and an absolute cell reference to the data set. Press function key F4 to convert it to an absolute cell reference. Then the comma. And the second argument is the row number. And our formula returns the row number 
that we are looking for and then a comma again and now I need to return I need to the third argument is the column number in this data set here and to do I'm going to use the columns function and then a1 a1 and make the first part absolute ending parenthesis and once again and now enter it as an array formula and now copy this click and hold on the black dot and drag it to the next cells and then continue this and copy the formula to cells below and you can see that these values here match these values here 